So the million dollar question is, does hyaluronic acid hold 1000 times its weight in water? Well... <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Mo, I'm a pharmacist. I'm currently majoring in safety assessment of xenobiotic and biotechnological product slash toxicology. And in this channel, we talk a lot about the science behind the skincare. So if this subject interests you, please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and so share. So from the title of the video, you must know what I am going to talk about. That is correct, hyaluronic acid, the most famous ingredient currently in skincare. Hyaluronic acid is an amazing skincare ingredient. It exists in almost 99% of skincare products that you can find in the store. When it comes to hyaluronic acid, there is a lot of claims. These hyaluronic acid claims can be as simple as adding hydration to your skin and extend to fighting your uh, fine lines and wrinkles. But one of the claims that keep coming back again and again and everyone repeated without making sure if this claim is correct or not because it's an amazing claim if it's true that hyaluronic acid can hold up to 1000 times its weight in water like we hear it from uh, people that are uh, interested in skincare my favorite facts about hyaluronic acid is that it can hold up to 1000 times its mass in water that is crazy. Medical estheticians. The way hyaluronic acid works is that it holds up to a thousand times its weight in water. And of course, dermatologists said that as well. One gram of uh, hyaluronic acid can bind up to a thousand grams of water. So it's very powerful in that sense. Before diving into the $1 million question if hyaluronic acid actually holds 1000 times its weight in water or not, let's know hyaluronic acid, what is hyaluronic acid, and get to know hyaluronic acid as an ingredient more. Hyaluronic acid is a body-made component. It is also known as a disaccharide. What disaccharides mean? It di means two, saccharide means sugar. So it's made of two units of mono sugars. So it's made of two uh, sugars holding hand together to make uh, one molecule of hyaluronic acid. I will put the structure right here. Each unit of hyaluronic acid that is made from two sugars can connect with other hyaluronic acid units and making a chain of hyaluronic acid. That's what makes a different weight hyaluronic acid. So where we can find hyaluronic acid in the body? In the body, we can find hyaluronic acid in many different organs and tissues, especially in the skin where it has 50% of the whole amount of hyaluronic acid in the body, especially in the dermis. That's what gives the skin the uh, elasticity, the volume, and the bounciness and help the skin regulate the amount of water that exists in the skin and how can uh, some water can get in and some water can be evaporated. We can also find hyaluronic acid in the eyes, in the joints. For example, a 70 kilogram person has almost 15 grams of hyaluronic acid in his body. So out of the 15 grams that exist in the body, there is 5 grams are in a cycle of degradation and rebuild, degradation and rebuild. This cycle is called a turnover cycle. That means that there is always a new hyaluronic acid is built in the body. So to understand hyaluronic acid more, we need to understand a few new terms. One of those are molecular weight, which mean by the name, the weight of the molecule. As I mentioned before, hyaluronic acid is a disaccharide made of two sugars, but can be in a polymer, which means there is a number of hyaluronic acid units connecting to each other, making a chain. The bigger the chain is, the higher the molecular weight is. And we can express in chemistry the uh, molecular weight in a unit called Dalton. So please remember those two terms, molecular weight and Dalton. <music> 
hyaluronic acid is always referred to in skincare as a humectant ingredient which means an ingredient that can hold to water and add hydration to the skin but to be honest hyaluronic acid is much more than this so let's discuss the function one of the main function that we all know is the adding hydration to the skin because uh, hyaluronic acid as I said before is a humectant that can hold to water from the air and add it to your skin and this information be new to sometimes of hyaluronic acid has an anti-inflammatory action on the tissues of the body for especially the kind of hyaluronic acid that are injected into the joints of people that are suffering from arthritis so hyaluronic acid do the anti-inflammatory effect by reducing the production of two very powerful pro-inflammatory signals uh, that are called prostaglandin E2 and bradykinins and also hyaluronic acid has an effect on immunity cells for example it can help to prevent the migration and prevent the activation of immune cells in an inflammatory site and one of the last function that I want to talk about that hyaluronic acid has an effect on the body is helping cells to migrate to a specific location. Hyaluronic acid is, was found to help uh, healing the wound of the skin by helping cell migrate to the uh, area of damage and help fixing and speeding up the uh, process of healing. Now let's start talking about the water binding ability of hyaluronic acid. But first let us all agree on one thing, hyaluronic acid does have a water binding ability. But wait, what binding or holding water really meant? As a pharmacist and a chemist, I thought okay, hyaluronic acid can bind to water. So to understand and calculate what hyaluronic acid can do to water, I need to know how many binding sites the hyaluronic acid unit can have to interact with water. So I went on a researching journey until I found this very old paper talking about that hyaluronic acid has between 10 and 15 sites to bind with water. So the fun part begins now. Let's calculate how much water really can the hyaluronic acid bind to. So on this side, I put all the calculation that I made to make sure what is the actual number of atoms of water that hyaluronic acid can bind to. So now let's collect all the information. We know the uh, water or the molecular weight of water is 18 Dalton. And the molecular weight of one unit of hyaluronic acid is 391. And don't forget this 391 Dalton is the weight of one molecule of hyaluronic acid that is made from two sugars. So to calculate everything, for example, we have a serum with hyaluronic acid with a weight of 100,000 Dalton. So to calculate everything, okay, we have this hyaluronic acid that weight 100,000 Dalton. Every unit of uh, hyaluronic acid weight 300 91 by dividing 100,000 by 391 we can have 255 units of hyaluronic acid and from the paper that I found that says that hyaluronic acid unit has 15 sites of binding to water we can multiply 255.7 by 15 we can get 3836 uh, water molecule and as we know the weight of water molecule is 18 Dalton by multiplying 3836 uh, water molecule by 18 we can get a 69 and 53 Dalton of water molecule weight binding to those 100,000 Dalton hyaluronic acid and by doing a simple ratio by 69 over 100,000 we can find that the ratio is 0 0.6 yes you heard it right 0 0.6 so hyaluronic acid can hold up to 0 0.6 it weights to water so where is this claim that state 
it, the hyaluronic acid can hold 1000 times its weight in water. So was it all a marketing gimmick or my calculation is wrong? So where is the correct answer? So after scratching my head for hours, knowing that my calculation found out that hyaluronic acid only holds 0.6 of its weight in water, and knowing that there is this claim that is being said by everyone online and every dermatologist and every chemist saying, okay, hyaluronic acid hold uh, 1000 times its weight in water, I went back online. And I looked papers upon papers upon papers, some papers uh, they back to a few decades decades ago to know what this claim and where did it came from so after hours and hours and hours online researching and looking at scientific papers and the claims I was able to find the claim that was mentioned one time by a microbiologist called Ian W. Thutherland. I couldn't find a lot of information about this microbiologist, but I was able to know that the, this microbiologist was specialized in the polysaccharides that were made by microorganisms. The paper that I'm talking about, I was able to find after paying a subscription to a website that holds research papers. I paid money to find the claim that this scientist made. In his paper, he said that one gram of hyaluronic acid can hold up to six liters of water, which means this claim was more exaggerated than the 1000 time it weights in water because 1000 time it weights in water means that one gram of hyaluronic acid can hold one liter of water but the original claim says one uh, gram of hyaluronic acid can hold up to six liters of water which is crazy i was so happy to find out okay i found the claim let's look how this scientist made this claim, what evidence he has to back his claim, what uh, experiments he did with this paper to uh, fortify his result stating that one gram of hyaluronic acid can hold up to six liters of water. And here is the shock that really shattered my heart and I felt really depressed for hours after finding out. This claim was not backed by any evidence or any experiment. This scientist just said this claim without, without doing anything to support his claim. I know he is a very good microbiologist because his paper that stated this specific uh, claim that hyaluronic acid holds up to 6 liters of water. So to make it clear, by the date of 9th of May, 2021, this paper was cited more than 816 times by other research paper claiming that okay this uh, claim of hyaluronic acid is correct and in the original paper I couldn't find any evidence, any experiments, any data to support this claim. So to answer a million dollars, does hyaluronic acid hold 1000 times its weight in water? Well to be honest we don't know but it is a fact that hyaluronic acid can hold a lot of water. Let me explain uh, the situation with hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid has, like I mentioned before, 15 sites to bind to water. So if we want to take this word bind or hold very specifically, we can look at the calculation that I made. But let's understand one more thing. Holding or binding can be very different because to understand these uh, claims of holding water or uh, binding to water we need to know that okay one molecule can hold to 15 molecule of water but water can hold other molecule of water without intervention of any other chemical like every molecule of water can hold to up to four molecule of water with a hydrogen bond so the claim of uh, binding and holding can be a little bit misleading in a way to understand how much really hyaluronic acid can hold of water, we need to do a lot of research and a lot of experiment to understand this uh, volume of uh, water that can be bound to hyaluronic acid. Until this moment, there is no clear answer. After I did my research, I was like, disappointed in a way because I didn't find what fortify and confirm this claim but at least I was happy to find okay uh, hyaluronic acid is used hyaluronic acid gave result but these claims can be 
uh, as a selling point maybe or a marketing gimmick but no one until this moment were, were able to uh, confirm these claims i was uh, at the end of my research not caring anymore about the numbers but caring about okay hyaluronic acid is a good ingredient is a very good humectant can hold to water for sure but how much water we don't really know so the claims of uh, hyaluronic acid holding up to 1000 times it weights in water is neither correct or or wrong because we don't we still don't know it's possible to know when we do a, a more research about this specific area so this was my video for uh, this week i hope you guys liked it i put so much effort so much time and so much tears to it so if you enjoyed it please uh, subscribe subscribe like share comment and please invite your friends to geek out about uh, skincare and the science behind it and i see you in the next video bye